Soldier. Farzak had a chance to play first versus Lab. A little bit of a rematch between the two. Last time Lab had to play into Giga Dampening Soldier with a quick interrupt. Immuning the breath with an anti-matter shell. Got himself the grippy hand. The army of the undead scraping up from the ground. A soldier walking in, displacing his entire enemy team. With a grippy hand, not his fault, really. Into a trinket onto Lav as he got himself a mad amount of health recovery. Silence for a lockdown. Might be an icebox situation. Trying to see if he can hold back from it, but has to go for it. Soldier does not really have much of a line of sight, but he's actually doing really good health wise. Just letting Lav get himself recovery. Not much you can really do against the full on block. This is going to be Nova by Lav. Trying to see if he can get himself some shifting power. Whatever cooldowns you can get back versus Soldier, the better. As long as you get to use a breath before the guy gives himself a full anti magic shell, almost freezing him. Oh, knock does not quite connect. The AMS goes through as the frozen or, or frozen bomb comes down. That's going to be a grip onto Lav. Not much you can really do. Lav looking to get him some mobility while it is a full dome ready for the DK. And Lav does get juke out on intro, but he's still in a rough spot. Every single death call does so much damage to the guy's stun right after. I think it just might be over. Second block, last second. There's no shot. He was able to get that going. A soldier having to back up out. That's all he can really do in this situation. Wait, did you just dot the enemy team? I think he did. <laughs> I think he did. <laughs> yeah, okay. If you want to heal each <laughs> heal yourselves, just don't heal Lav. Let Lav have a proper one you want as the silence comes out. Death calls, man. Look at them. Oh, <laughs> the clawing shadows and death calls are so brutal. Antimatic shell for the stun is the only side trying to have him somewhere go. There's a full set of wings with a wake up with a reckless? No, final reckless, right? Final reckoning? Final Reckoning, IBF out for Soldier, trying to see if he can reduce some of this damage. Look at Holy Sails right now, he's not in a great spot, bubble right after. Soldier needs an out for this one, but Holy Side does not go for the kill. Instead, he goes on for Regenerating. Actually, might be the safe play, but I don't know if that was the play, because the Soldier gives himself a setup. It could be over. Shrink it for Soldier as he gets himself Human Racial. Stone onto Holy. Does he himself a big go. Trying to get a little bit of healing. Wake of Ashes gives him super, super low AMS at the ready very, very soon. He got himself the grippy hand as well. Maybe he can make some kind of a play. Trying to see if he can go super counter offensive versus Holy Sire. Does get to grip him around the corner. Got himself a hand of freedum. Needs some kind of a heal right now. Needs a defensive summon anything. That or offensive power. Stunned by the pet for just a second. Soldier needs a bit more health, but looks like the consecration together with a final wreck in the end. Nothing he could really do there at all. Jareem gonna be up next. If he turns out a holy, he could potentially take him down before the guy even gets a chance. No, he doesn't want to play that kind of game. He wants to give him the man a full honor to him. Man's just having to eat through the diseases, just munching down on the uh, muffins or cupcakes. What, what did mages drop you down? Oh. Bow by Holy Saya. And Jerim sees the bow, he's like, hey, I want to make sure that I'm giving the proper honor duel. I don't want, I want to make sure I'm not BMing that. He wants to get himself a proper match versus this guy. No rogues in the arena anymore, except for Raven, and he's on his team too. Jerim can now finally have himself, hopefully, a proper go. Breath onto Saya with a snow drift. Frostbound to follow. Does go for shield of Venice, Trying to see if he can bring him down with a rare frost. Either way, the holy, I believe, does also use a wall for this and just to dampen as much of this frost damage as possible. Trying to live through the shadows. Hand of freedom is up. Jareem trying to desperately steal it away from the guy. Cannot do it until the very last second. Got himself an invis last moment just to give himself a bit more DR. That's going to be yet another frozen bomb onto Saya. Has himself a blessing of spell running potentially here. In case he ever needs it, but definitely wants to make sure he got himself as much health as possible. With a blizzard around the corner, if you could also send in a frozen orb as well, Jareem could actually put a lot of pressure onto Holy Sai behind the pillar. And there isn't much Sai could really do besides sitting down and get some food, but Jareem is perfectly fine going for all those resets. Make Jareem go different spec. Well, I can't really. Oh, my Griff come. I can't really make somebody play this spec, Susie. So, yeah, the only thing I can do is just like take him out of the pool of players. That's about like all I can really do. I can't really control what spec he plays, you know? Hand of Freedom for Saya got himself the pony together with Wings, trying to see if he can run down Jareem, walking out of the snow drift, trying to see if he can mitigate the uh, Frozen Bomb too. And is able to do it pretty easily. Got himself slows, maybe Hand of Freedom, does not have Hand of Freedom. That is a full shatter with those uh, ticks of the raid taking down, just disintegrating Holy Saya. The man is away from any kind of pillars, caught out in the open sea, wants to try to see if he can maybe end this mage right then there. Lay on hands is his final defensive, does not have the Spell Warden to keep him alive here. Hand of Freedom got out some plenty of damage. That's gonna be a nice block for Jareem. I don't know if Jareem wants to maybe cancel block early to be able to catch Holy. He's gonna try to. Frostbomb, if he gives himself a flurry on top of it, maybe a Nova around the corner, something, anything, so it shatters. 
it still does a lot of damage. Doesn't shatter, but does have a lot more damage behind it than before. Blizzard around the corner, maybe can kite Holy Sai into it. Holy does not want to go in. Stun, blinks it immediately. Jareem trying to see if he can freeze the guy. Spell Warden is out. This is where Holy Sai waiting for that immunity. Got himself a hand of freedom with Pony. Trying to see if he can stay on top of Jareem. No wings available for the... Actually, no wings are available for the Pally. Breath does not connect. Jareem, oh, another block. No, Holy Sai does give an opportunity to recover, regenerate. Do you bust out of the block to break it or not? You don't. Nope, you're just gonna go for a full reset. Saya might have himself a chance here. Dream catching the guy in the poly. Trinket for Saya. Hand of Freedom at the ready. No, just a pony. Needs a Hand of Freedom though to keep himself moving. The Dream at no help whatsoever. Blind does get himself the altar really, really early. Wake up, just catching the Frost Bomb. The man needs all of the shatters in order to be able to take down the Holy, but knocking the guy behind the wall does give Holy Saya a little bit of cover behind the pillar. Hand of Freedom stolen though. Holy just needs a couple more global shields available for Jareem. Every single one of these hammers does so much damage though. Jareem does not want to be out in the open. Trying to go for shit and power just to get himself whatever cooldown reduction he can. Has himself technically lots of cooldowns in the ready. Icy veins and everything up right now. With a ray of frost, hand of freedom to make sure the shadows do not get to connect. Final wreck, big hammers. He needs the big hammers of wreck. He needs the big wreck hammers right now. Wake of ashes to the wall. Oh, just swiping him out. Just cleaving him down. Is it one mage to the next? It is. Jay gonna be up next. Holy, does have a bowl back up. He just used wings to take down Jareem, so it's gonna be about a minute until he can really be effective again. But, oh. <laughs> I like the little bow. Because like, Jay also wants to be honorable. <laughs> For Holy, he's just kind of like, maybe I can delay a, a ring of fire or a ring of frost. Maybe I can delay his cool does a little by going for a bow. <laughs> I wonder if that's a strat for any of you. It's like, hey, maybe I'll try to be honorable. Big blast and a holy helmet to bubble this damage. Jayhawk had so much output, so much damage potential. Got himself shields just rotating back to back to keep him alive. Holy does not have a lot of health to work with. As Jay does not give him the polymorph that lets him recover health whatsoever. Missiles around the corner. I think it's just over with the barrage, right? Does get him in the barrage. There's only so much you can do with RQ, RWQ up next is ruin trying to go for a stunt playing that boomkin not the feral druid did you drop down a what was that nature thing you had around you was that a nature's vigil because i thought you summoned up like the tree ends for a second <laughs> what was that then or was it heart of the wild it might have been heart of the wild actually as he's trying to give himself as much healing as possible. Jay is pressured, having to go for a block. 40% dampening. You are still going to be able to recover a lot of health, but this is your one big immunity. Dropping down the mushrooms. That is a perfect timing on the mushroom. Slow with the dot on Jay. There's only so much he can do. Knocking him back. Does get the breath into Ring of Frost. Does get to connect. Hold on. Jay maybe could make some work off this Ring of Frost. Trying to strip RQ, RWQ from all those buffs. Or rune rather i should call you by your name rune ras are connecting they actually do a decent bit of damage like if you get a couple of those going a couple of those ras do actually do quite a bit here it's burning through his shield fairly easily the dots together with the stars falling i think jay is he just gonna go down to the dots because the dot damage on the procs are gonna eventually kill him i believe this is going to be Rune trying to see if he can reposition. Does get himself a rake stun onto Jay. Just needs a couple more hits to break through the shield. Jay got nothing at all right now. Just got to make sure the dots are back up on the mage. Star Search, it's over. It's over as the Golden goes in for the jugular. With Raven going to be up next. Got Rote immediately onto a Rune. Bash to follow. Got himself a Cyclone or after. This man's got a Grifka looking Mog. Mine is a Tabard. But definitely a very Grifka esque Mog going on here. What Tabard is this? Is that one of the... That's not an elite tabard, is it? Is it? Is it an elite tabard? Chat. Or is that like one of the tabards from Trading Post? I'm not even sure. Raven does get to get full set of dots into Ruin. Having to go for a bar skin, but the man is going to start ticking down. He needs to remove the bleeds. Or rather, the poisons at least. As often as possible. But for Raven, as long as his bleeds are on Ruin... They're going to have that exsanguinated dot on top of it where they do more damage. Garrod to follow. It. Just got to make sure he gets full dots and maintains his energy high. And then those bleeds do additional 25% more damage, which is actually quite brutal. Rune at no health. Was that even death mark? Did they just die to the execute? Hold on a second. Bam, going to be up next. Playing out the destruction world. I tried to go for a big old bow with Rogue. And the rogue charges right in. Could be an opportunity for him to go for death mark. Does get the death mark. Dance is available. I don't know if he wants to go for a big dance together, maybe with a um um 
He does go for the dance. Cheap shots. Got road to follow. Full CC. Hold on. Bav hasn't been able to play the game. The man is just melting. Oh, I switched to wrong person. Last second, but Raven does get himself that kill. Hold on. This rogue is out here for a slaughter. Full dots are up into Alistair. He just needs to find a way to escape. And Vanish is available. Trying to see if he can avoid the death grip. As well as the grippy hand. As well as the death Boy, He's actually clean. He's actually clean. And Alistair taking quite a bit of damage. The man is sitting at about half his health with just dots alone. Hold on. Give it a second or two. The dots are Duke getting really, really low. Raven doesn't have to pick it up the eye. He's going to take 5% more damage here. No trinket available. Does have an evasion, though. That is an army of the dead that is going to have to mitigate here. He had like 10% health left and then just popped like a balloon from the kidney shot. Wow. <laughs> uh, that is a lot. The rogue just absolutely slaughtered these boys. That was just aggressive. I kind of love that. And see, chat, this is where I'm like, you know what? I want to see more assassination rogues. Everybody out here dueling a subtlety. Nah, dude. Have you seen the damage assassination rogues can do? Nah, dude. What do you mean? They're so good. Let's even get another one going.